Hi everyone. I'm Sriharan. I'm here to explain our project plan is identification using deep learning. And our teammates are Sridhar, Krishna and Vishnu. And our guide is Dr. C. Arun. The main objective of a project is to promote smart farming. Uh, so we develop a deep learning model for plant leaf disease image classification by conventional neural network algorithm for potentially classifying the result in the form of best accuracy by comparing the CNN architectures. Uh, this project is especially used for the youngsters who are all practicing smart farming. And the outline of a project is defining a problem, gathering image data set, evaluating algorithms and detecting results. Abstract. Agriculture productivity is something on which economy highly depends. This is one of the reason uh, that disease detection in plants play an important role in agriculture field as having disease in plants are quite natural. If proper care is not taken in this area, then it causes serious effects on plants and due to which respect to product quality, quantity or productivity is affected. For instance, a disease named little leaf disease is a hazardous disease found in pine trees in United States. Detection of plant disease through some automatic technique is beneficial as it reduces a large work of monitoring in big farms of crops. And at very early stage itself it can, it can be detected the symptoms of diseases that appears on the plant leaves. It also covers survey on different diseases classification techniques that can be used for plant leaf disease detection. Image segmentation which is an important aspect for disease detection in plant leaf disease is done by using genetic algorithm. Existing system. It reviews and summarizes various techniques used for classifying and detecting various plant leaf diseases such as bacterial, fungal and viral and etc. The classification techniques of the machine learning is applied to detect diseases. It analyzes the data from different aspects and classifies it into one of the predefined set of the classes. The morphological features and properties such as the color, intensity and the dimensions of the plant leaves are taken into consideration. Drawback of the existing system. It has not focused on identifying other plant diseases with CNN as classifier which causes a major impact on the result. The second one is it has not focused on increasing the recognition so, there may be chances of reducing the accuracy. Proposed system. In the proposed system, to classify the plant diseases, we plan to design deep learning technique so that a person with lesser expertise in software should also be able to use it easily without anyone else. Different number of images is collected for each diseases that was classified into database images and input images. The primary attributes of the images are relied upon the shape and texture oriented features. Advantages The advantages of using the proposed system increases the throughput and reducing subjectiveness which arises from human experts in detecting the plant diseases. It is essential to detect a particular disease. In our country, many farmers are not so educated to get correct information about all the diseases. When the proposed system is implemented in real time, the advantages which is very helpful for many of them. Preparing the data set. The data set for training and test images of the plant leaves are extracted from the website named Kaggle. We have extracted totally 10 data sets of 5 different leaves, which is nothing but the apple leaf, which is healthy and unhealthy, and the cherry leaf, which is also healthy and unhealthy. Likewise, grape, peach, and strawberry have been extracted from the website. Conclusion. In this project, a research to plant leaf disease classification over static facial images using deep learning techniques were developed. This is a complex problem that has been already approached several times with different techniques. Nowadays, agriculture based on AI plant leaf disease includes is heavily required. The solution totally based on feature learning does not seem close yet because of a major limitation. Thus, Leaf disease classification could be achieved by the means of deep learning techniques. Future work 
Further improvement on the network's accuracy and generalization can be achieved through the following practices. The first one is to use the whole dataset using the optimization. Using batch optimization is more suitable for larger datasets. Another technique is to evaluate emotions one by one. This can lead to detect which emotions are more difficult to classify. Finally, using a larger dataset for training seems beneficial. However, such a dataset might not exist nowadays. Using several datasets might be a solution, but a careful procedure to normalize them is required. Finally, using full dataset for training, pre-training on each plant leaf and using a larger dataset seem to have the possibility to improve the network's performance. Thus, they should be addressed in future research on this topic. We will follow back with the working algorithms and the procedures further after the slide. Thank you. For doing this project, we are using Anaconda Navigator for training the CNN model as it is a freelancer. In Anaconda Navigator, we are using Jupyter Notebook to do this. In this project, we are using CNN algorithm for image processing. There are different types of CNN models. Some of them are LeNet, AlexNet, ResNet, GoogleNet, MobileNet, ZFNet, etc. LeNet is the most popular CNN architecture. It is also the first CNN model which came in the year 1998. In this project, we are using three models, three networks. First one is the manual network. We have created this network, manual network. In this network, there are three convolutional layers and two pooling layers. After training this model, we have got an graph which represents the train and test data accuracy and losses. Blue line indicates the train accuracy and red line indicates the test accuracy. At, at first, the accuracy will be lesser. After training the model repeatedly, the accuracy will be greater. When it came to losses, first losses will be higher and after training the model repeatedly, the loss will be getting lesser. This is our second network, which is AlexNet. In this, we are using TensorFlow and Keras. TensorFlow is used for framework and Keras is used for backend. TensorFlow and Keras libraries, we are importing some of the packages such as model, sequential, input, dense, flatten, convolutional 2D, max pooling 2D, etc. AlexNet is one of the convolutional neural network which has had a large impact on the field of machine learning especially in the application of deep learning to machine vision alexnet was the first convolutional network which used gpu to boost performance alexnet architecture consists of five convolutional layers three max pooling layers two normalization layers and two fully connected layers and one softmax layer each convolutional layer consists of convolutional filters and a non-linear activation function ReLU. The pooling layers are used to perform max pooling. After training this model repeatedly, we have got an graph. In this first train model accuracy is lesser and test model accuracy is greater. In loss, the train model accuracy is lesser and Test model accuracy is randomly generated. By using this three networks out of best we, which we can take. And our third network is LeNet. In this also we are using TensorFlow on Keras. From these libraries we have downloaded some of the packages sequential, flat and dense etc. LeNet was one among the earliest convolutional neural network which promoted the event of deep learning. After innumerous years of analysis and plenty of compelling iterations, the end result was named LeNet. Now we will see about the architecture of LeNet. LeNet CNN architecture is made up of seven layers. The layers composition consists of three convolutional layers, two subsampling layers and two fully connected layers. And now we will see the what is convolutional layers and pooling layers. Convolutional layer 
are the layers where the filters are applied to the original image or to the other feature maps in a deep CNN. This is where the most of the user specified parameters are in the network. The most important parameter are the number of kernels and the size of kernels. What is pooling layer? Pooling layer are similar to convolutional layer but they perform a specific function such as max pooling which takes this maximum value in a certain filter region or average pooling which takes the average value in the filter region. These are typically used to reduce the dimensionality of the network. And what is dense or fully connected layers? Fully connected layers are placed before the classification output of a CNN and are used to flatten the results before the classification. This is similar to the output layer of an MLP. When using the train model, there will be lot of difficulties in uploading the image and getting the result. As it consumes more time, therefore we are using PyCharm here which help us to bring up the Google link for the website which we have created already for uploading and getting the result. We are using Django framework in this to get this link. We have to type and command which is python manage.py run server. By giving this we will get an Google link. This is the website which we have created to upload the images using the Django framework and CSS and HTML. By clicking the choose file option, we have to choose a file from the from our PC, which we have already downloaded from the Google. We will give an grape diseased leaf as an input and see what will be the output. Yes, it's detecting correctly. Grape disease leaf. Now we have give another image as the input. This time we will give strawberry disease leaf as an input image. Yes, this is our output. This will predict the output using the three networks which you have already discussed. Those three networks are manual network, Linet and AlexNet. It will choose the best of the three. Thank you.